Hello and welcome back to the Mobile Technology Lab. So in this lab, I'm going to show you how to use the LogCat tool in order to find and trace exceptions. So LogCat is an important tool for you to debug your application and find what's wrong with your application, especially when your emulator or application keep crashing. So most of the time, if your application crashes, it is likely due to exception that occur inside your programming languages or inside resources. So here I'm going to demonstrate you how to trace them. So first, I'm going to demonstrate uh, by using an application that keep on crashing, okay, like this. So here I'm running the application. And then this application keep crashing. Okay, it keep crashing. So when you run again, keep crashing. So how to trace the cause of this application that makes it keep crashing? So let's look into the logcat. So to find logcat, you have to click over here. Okay, the logcat. And then you have to click over here and select the right emulator. So because I'm using the emulator Nexus 5 API 34 to select that. And then just go over here and type here level. Okay, to find the level of the uh, exception or a level of the error. You can type here error. Or you can use the level as warning one uh, to find, find uh, the level. Regardless, you can uh, type here error. So, and then try to rerun back your application. And then, you will encounter the exception in the screen. So, to find the cause of the exception, you need to go over here and read it as a fatal exception. So this means that it is an error in usually in a fundamental way that causes the whole uh, application to crash. So you have to look over here also, runtime exception. Okay, usually runtime exception is a type of exception that you do not handle, but it is caused by your poor programming or timing uh, in handling the program. Okay, here you see that the problem, uh, the real problem is the class cast exception. And then, okay, it is about constraint layout cannot be cast to the button. So, it meaning, meaning that it is a problem that is related to casting uh, the wrong type of views. So, to find uh, the location of the error, you have to go to your main activity here, uh, line 18. So double click it, okay, you can find this is the source of the error. So likely, because you have declared one thing as a button, okay, this is a button, it is probably that this is not a button, okay, this is a, this, this is actually a constraint layout, okay, as it is denoted over here. So it is likely that you have assigned the wrong ID to the layout. So to fix that, you have to go to this main activity over here, and then you can trace that uh, the constraint layout is um, ID as a button calculate. So to fix that, you have to go to the attribute uh, of this um, constraint layout, and then delete the BTN calculate, and then go back to the button, okay, the intended uh, ID to be changed and type here button calculate and then refactor it and then try to rerun back the application okay, it seems that the application can be run successfully so this is how you trace error or exception using logcat okay, let's see on another way to trace exception using logcat on other type of exception too uh, such as number format exception or I.O. exception. Okay, let's look into the next segment.
Welcome back. Now we shall see another form of exception that keep propping up in your mobile development uh, when using Android. So um, another common one or common exception is the null pointer exception and number format exception. So let's uh, look uh, into this type of problem. So let's say that you have already created your application to be like this. And then you try to run it. So it seems that your application can receive an input using text field. And then you can press calculate. But when you press calculate, the application crashes. So why it crashes? So you can uh, look into the logcat over here and type in level error like this to trace the error. Okay, and this is surely the error. So the error is null pointer exception. Attempt to invoke virtual method Android text editable Android widget edit text get text on null object reference. Usually this is because you are trying to access a variable or an object that are not assigned properly. So it is a null reference. So let's look over here. Okay, it said that it is on main activity line 26. So this is the offending line. Okay, edit text. So you have to trace where uh, did you use or declare this edit text. So it seems that you declare over here and then you use it over here without assigning a value to this edit text. So in order to avoid null pointer exception or null object, uh, exception you have to assign it uh, to a value for this you have to assign it to the view that are associated with this uh, variable so in this case edit text over here would be equals to find view by id r dot id dot edit text number two so this is just an example okay because Probably this is because you, uh, the programmer might have forgotten that these uh, edit text haven't been uh, assigned properly yet, uh, properly yet. So this uh, edit text is named as edit text number two, and it should be referenced in the source code as edit text number two. So once you reference this, and then when you play back the emulator, run back the emulator, let's say that you put in 50 and then you can press calculate. So it could display the result, okay, like this. It's no longer having exception, okay, because we have already solved the null object reference of exception uh, problem in the source code. Right, okay, for the next uh, common exception is the number format exception. Okay, this can easily occur like this. So when you type here 0, it still can work, right? 0 km is equivalent to 0 uh, mile. And then when you can type it a fairly large uh, number, it can still can work also, right? Okay, okay this is... 1.602 e7 miles and so on but what about if we left the edit text or text field uh, blank okay like this okay blank so when you press calculate it will crash okay let's run it again so when you type zero it can run but when you left it blank over here it will crash so, what type of uh, error or exception has been caused by this is usually is the number format exception. So, the number format exception can be caused by many things. First uh, uh, and foremost is um, invalid string. So, an invalid string that does not correspond to a number. So remember, if you are using text field to convert number uh, uh, string into number, you have to use double or, or integer 
fast integer or double fast double value in order to convert this string into a type double. But if this value, okay, this string value is blank, it will trigger an exception, empty string. So if you look over here in your source code, uh, you can see here in the main activity, right over here, main activity, you click, it is caused by this line. So in order to handle this, you have to use try and catch um, block. So try and catch. So if you have uh, for, uh, undergone your Java programming languages class, you may have already familiar with handling exception. So in this case, you have to handle the exception in order to make your application uh, able to handle this type of exception gracefully instead of crashing, uh, uh, crashing out. Okay, crashing out. So you have to surround this with sketch. Okay, and then you have to put here a, a type of exception. Okay, because it is a number format exception, then you have to type in number format exception and FE number format exception. And then you have to display the error so that the user can um, uh, make decision or be informed of his or her error. Okay, okay. They type in some uh, information okay to the user okay provide the feedback to the user so that the user uh, would uh, would know about uh, their mistakes okay text field okay please enter valid number in the text field so those Length short and then don't forget to show the tools. Right. Okay. Make sure you do it something like this. Okay, and then also ensure that um also ensure that uh you have to assign the miles to zero, right? Like this. As soon as you declare it, okay, this is to avoid null pointer exception. So let's rerun this again. All right, and then it will display. Okay, it will display the error without crashing. Please enter a valid number. Okay, please enter valid in the text field. So sometimes uh, it appears a double um, tools. So avoid that you can always make a rule okay so that the second toast won't be displayed so you can uh, move this toast into the try okay into the try block here okay and then you put over here so when you run they won't be uh, doubling toast Okay, no doubling of the toast notification. And then it could also work by putting zero. Okay, zero km is equivalent to 0.0, .0 miles and so on. So um, I think that's all for our lab session for today. Hopefully you are able to extract useful knowledge in tracing exception and solving common exception and as well as learn how to use logcat be seeing you in the next lab session